Vince Williams is going to go to All-Star Weekend. Now, what a great thing for him. Kudos to, to Vince Williams Jr. You know, um, he was an injury replacement on the Panini Rising Stars. He'll get a chance to be part of the All-Star Weekend Showcase. Hey, Grizzlies fans, be sure to tune in to Grisby, where the panel and I break down all things Grizzlies and take a look at the rest of the NBA as well. The show is live every Wednesday, 2 p.m. on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. Take your fandom to the next level with the official Grizzlies app. Go all access and behind the scenes. It's got to be heavy defense. That's where it starts for us. Personalized to where you are and who you are. Get easy access to ticketing, the game day guide, and your own app customization right at your fingertips. Upgrade your experience and download the Grizzlies app today. Today we have two very special guests on our program, introducing Lem hey. and Lime. Hello. For Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Thanks for having us. What is Starry Lemon Lime Soda? It's a crisp, clear burst of lemon lime flavor, and it's caffeine free. Between us, one of you must be a little more important to Starry than the other. Who is it? We're both important. So we could just as easily be Starry Lime Lemon Soda. No, that doesn't sound right. Oh, I like it. So you saying hip hop could be hop hip? Works for me. Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Starry hits different. Did you do anything in that St. Joe's game? No, I was strictly playing defense. Delonte West was tough. That's a pro. Oh, my God. That step back with that Oh, wait, hold on. 40 minutes. You didn't even get a rest. No, I played, played the whole 40. game. Six for 11 from the field. That was me. 12 points, six rebounds, five assists. Oh, I was nice that game. <laughs> I thought I ain't getting double figures. The Chris Vernon Show, presented by Caesar Sportsbook, live weekdays at noon on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. Are you a healthcare professional looking for a new experience? Look no further than Travel Nurses Inc. Our extensive network of healthcare facilities across the country offers you the opportunity to discover new destinations while pursuing your passion. We provide competitive compensation, flexible contracts, and dedicated assistance. So join our community of nurses and allied health professionals and start your next adventure today. Visit our website at travelnursesinc.com for more information. Electric, rowdy, intense. They bring the same mentality that they bring anywhere into the building. If they were mad about something, they're bringing it in. If they were happy about something, they're bringing it in. So we need all that energy times a thousand. Live from the Bill Ford Tough Studio at FedEx Forum. It's the Gary Parrish Show, presented by Ortho South, on YouTube at Grind City Media, and the official Grind City Media app. Now, here's your host, Gary Parrish. Good morning, gang. It is absolutely horrible and ugly outside, but we are here to brighten your dang day. I have a bunch of Splenda here because it's so sweet. Welcome into the Gary Parrish Show. We have a lot to get to today. We are going to start with Gary, who's still in Phoenix, hopefully drying off by now. We're going to talk about his dunk tank experience. I literally cannot wait. We're going to come back and do five more things. And we have like kind of an extended five things today with a little special guest. We'll get to Bennett's retina update. He actually cannot see anything right now. I don't know if you can hear better because you're blind. I'm... I'm yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. I can hear okay, you. Okay, we'll yep. get to it. I'm here. We got Monday Night Raw. Bennett's like all hot and heavy over some movies. And Raw after Mania. <laughs> Whatever. It's not just any Monday <laughs> Night Raw. I don't care. Okay. Uh, and then I have some sports slash drugs news. Oh, wow. Nice. What? I don't know. Okay. And then we'll do GP's carry out and we'll get ready for the game. No, we'll get ready for Sneak Fest and then the game. Big day for Bennett Let's and go. I. Let's go. Let's go. Good morning, Gary Parrish. Hey, Kelsey Wright Johnson, and that's once again, you, you, you're really great at uh, teasing what's to come in the show because uh, if I hear somebody say, I got some news on sports and drugs, I mean, Let's I'm here go. for that. Let's I'm go. here. For, those are what's those are two of the best things. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I could put some other things on the list, but th those are going to make the cut. No question. Yep. 
Well, whatever else you would put on the list, we're actually probably going to talk about Bennett's hot and heavy movie review section. Okay. So it's all going to be covered. All right. All right. Well, I look forward to watching the rest of the show. How are you guys doing back in Memphis? It's beautiful here in Arizona, by the okay. way. Okay. Relax. It is dark. It is rainy. It yeah. is gross. I'm a little grumpy, so I'm so happy you're having a blast in sunny Phoenix. Oh, I don't mean to suggest I'm having a blast, Kelsey, because <laughs> I'm not. I'm 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 closer to ending my life than I am having a blast. Gary. <laughs> I'm I am overworked Gary. and underslept and so ready to get on this plane to come home. But between now and then, I got after we're done chit chatting, I got one more television show to do, and then uh, maybe two more radio interviews to do, and a top twenty-five and one to file, and then I'm gonna get on this plane. And I tell you, if if I don't black out completely, it won't be because I didn't try my best. Well, let's get through it then. We uh, are obviously going to talk about the championship game. I have a bunch of questions because I'm a little curious cat. But first and most importantly, we obviously need the update to the dunk tank we talked about yesterday. I saw the video. You went with a hat and a blazer. Tell me about your experience. All right, Kelsey, first you help me because um, as I decided, I was just like, they, they got me swimming trunks and they got me like an NCAA tournament shirt because uh, I, I, I made it perfectly clear, which I think everybody would understand. I think everybody assumed as much. Like, I'm not, there's no scenario I'm going topless on national television. Like, you know, <laughs> I got, I, like, that's not happening. Um, so, like, I barely go topless, like, in my own shower at home, you know? So, like, I had no chance I'm going topless on national television. So I said, hey, but rather than just be shorts and a t-shirt, can't we make it funny? What if I actually wore a suit top with, with swimming trunks and then throw on some goofy sunglasses and a hat and we can make it a spectacle? And as I was doing this, as I was walking to the dunk tank, a young woman said, so you're just going to really wear that uh, suit coat into the uh, dunk tank? And I said, sure, why not? Yeah, I think it'll pop on TV. And they said, well, because, uh, you know, suits cost money and you're going to ruin it. And I, I, it never occurred to me that dropping a suit in a tank of water would actually ruin it. I figured I'd just travel back home with it, take it straight to the cleaners. Kelsey, do you know if water to this degree will ruin my suit? Is my suit fixable? I don't, I, you've stumped me here. I don't know why it wouldn't be okay. I don't know why either, but like other people suggested it might not be. No, either if way. You, no, if you're in a suit and you walk outside right now, you your suit isn't ruined. Like there you, you go. Put it in the dryer, You're... it will be right. Like it'll be all like That's weird right. and yeah. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you you could never put no, it in the dryer. You're fine. I think people are I... too much. I think people are too much too, Kelsey. So I decided to throw on the, the the light blue blazer and I jumped in the dunk tank. And I won't tell you that the uh, entire segment went smoothly. We probably should have rehearsed it because people were shooting when they didn't know uh, when they weren't supposed to be shooting. And uh, we didn't have mics when we needed mics. It didn't go as perfectly as it could have. But uh, I did sit in a dunk tank. I let Roy Hibbert and Wally Zerbiak, two former NBA All-Stars, have a shooting competition. First one to get three makes. Drops me in the tank. It didn't take them long because they're professional basketball players. It was cold water, but it was warm Arizona air. So I dried off pretty quickly. And uh, I guess it made for a good TV moment, but I'm not sure completely. I kind of think that chaos creates a little bit of fun. If everything goes perfectly, what's the fun in that? A little bit of chaos. And, and the other thing about TV and segments and stuff like that, Gary, is that only you know that it didn't go how it was planned. We don't well, have there was plans. A it, it, Kelsey, that's exact. For people who don't do this type of stuff, like th there are little moments. There are moments in this show every day where I go, oh, and I realize I'm the only one going, oh, I'm the only one bothered by it. And in TV, it happens all the time. For instance, there was a moment last night where our host who was taking us off the air for the last time this season after the national championship game, he had put together an entire list where if you give him like a good 30 seconds to close the show, he can thank our catering crew and thank our production assistants and thank our travel coordinators and thank all of the people who make our lives simpler than they otherwise would be because um, yeah, we're getting dragged in a lot of different places and it's busy, 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 but we are set up to succeed. Like I don't have to try to find a car. They're always going to have a car waiting for me and I don't have to try to find a meal. They're always going to be willing to go get a meal for me. And so Brent Stover wanted to just acknowledge all these people on TV because 
you know, just because our faces and names and voices are always on this stuff, there are people who work behind the scenes and just hearing their names or just um, having their family members, husbands, wives, daughters, sons, mothers, fathers, hear their name on television like can be a big deal. So Stove had completely planned for this moment. And then uh, nobody's real fault, but like they just got it to him late and he had like 10 seconds to get off air. And when he went off air, he threw his pin down and he was furious. And what I had to explain to him is you're only mad because you're comparing what you actually did to what you wanted to do. But there's not a single viewer out there or no behind the scenes person who knew you were actually prepared to do it that way. So it didn't come across weird or anything. It just looked like you were ending a show. And he understood that deep down, but buddy, he walked out of there after having an amazing final four, just really upset and frustrated with how it ended. And that's, um, that's the way it often goes. So you're right, that Dunk Tech segment, uh, at home watching, it probably just looked like exactly what it was gonna look like. But in the moment, as soon as we were done, I think we all acknowledged that it could have gone a little more smoothly and a little better. But if the end result was me uh, ending up in a dunk tank, soaking wet in a blazer on national television, well, we got that point anyway. So I guess it, you know, the bottom line is the bottom line. Yeah. You know what else could have gone a little better? Hmm. Purdue. Ooh, buddy. Kelsey, it was wild because um, the game played out in the ways that I spent all day yesterday and all day Sunday discussing that it would possibly play out mm -hmm. and yet I still pick Purdue because I was <laughs> I, I've been on them all season it's been a constant contrast and compare debate and discuss between Purdue and UConn literally back to November and I had always fallen on the side of Purdue not because I didn't think UConn was excellent but because for most of the season Purdue did have the better resume even though uh, UConn was uh, ranked number one for a lot of the time where Purdue had the better resume. So I just decided to write it all the way through. But as I explained yesterday on CBS Sports Network and anywhere else I was allowed to talk, I'm not ignorant to the reality. Like, I understand the data points here. We wintered this game last night, and UConn was more efficient offensively than Purdue on the season, more efficiently defensively than Purdue on the season, better in the computers. Purdue has great college guards. UConn has great NBA guards. And Purdue's guards are smaller across the board, one, two, three, than UConn's guards. And I swear to you, you can find it if you want to. I had spent a lot of time detailing how my concern wasn't that Donovan Klingon would shut down Zach Eady or even that Zach Eady and Donovan Klingon would neutralize each other. That my concern was in the backcourt at Braden Smith, Lance Jones, and Fletcher Lawyer having to match up with uh, Tristan Newton and Stefan Castle and Cam Spencer, they were going to find their three small college guards matched up against three bigger across the board future NBA guards, and I thought that might be a problem. And Buddy, was it a problem, especially on the offensive end for Purdue, because these little guards could not get any three-point attempts. And I don't mean they couldn't get good shots. I mean they couldn't get any shots. I'm sure you saw it, the box score. Purdue took seven three-pointers in the entire game. They yeah. finished one of seven. And the problem isn't 14.3% from three, although that's obviously a massive problem. The problem is they weren't even capable of getting off shots. UConn, with its game plan, decided we're going to play Zach Eady one-on-one, -on -one, and if he gets 37 and 10, he gets 37 and 10. And that's exactly what he did. He got 37 and 10. But they said, we're not going to let Braden Smith get off. We're not going to let Fletcher Lawyer get off. We're not going to let Lance Jones get off. And so those guys were limited to almost nothing. The seven three-point attempts, this is wild. It's the fewest this season for Purdue. That might not surprise you. How about this? Before last night's game, and shouts to Anthony Billis, CBS Sports talent researcher who reached this for me. He's uh, researched this for me. He said, uh, for 330 straight games before last night, Purdue had attempted at least eight three-pointers in the game. 330 straight times they got up at least eight three-pointers in a game. Last night, they were below that, and it was very intentional. Uh, Dan uh, Hurley acknowledged after the game that Luke Murray, who is famously Bill Murray's son, UConn assistant handled the game plan for UConn Purdue, and I don't think they could have planned it any better or executed it any better, and that is ultimately where the national championship was determined. I something you said stuck out to me, and and mm -hmm. not uh, that it hasn't been discussed yet, but very much uh, you said Purdue has good college bigs, essentially. They have, they have good college guards. They uh, well, well, Purdue has. 
I, didn't, I think Zach Eady will play in the NBA, just like Donovan Klingon will play in the NBA, but Klingon will almost certainly be picked before him. The point I was making is that in the backcourt, all the attention was on the front court. In the backcourt was where I thought the real difference could be made because Purdue has really good college guards, but they are really good college guards who are going to be college stars until they're done with college. And then, like, you know, you'll be sitting on the front row in South Haven watching them, probably. That's where that's headed. Um, the UConn guards, Tristan Newton's going to play in the NBA next season. Stefan Consul's going to be a lottery pick in June. And Cam Spencer hasn't been on mock drafts much of this season. But when I talk to people, uh, you know, watching him throughout the, you know, February, March, and this NCAA tournament, they think Cam Spencer's going to be in the NBA as well. So ultimately, you know, just to make it very, very simple, we watched a basketball game last night between what I do still believe were the two best teams in the country, but one of them had three NBA guards and the other one had, let's just say, three G League guards. And given that in Memphis, we've been trying to play in the NBA with G League guards for a lot of this season, you know how that stuff usually goes. And that's the way it went last night here in Phoenix. Speaking of, we did sign a new G League guard to our team for tonight's game, but we'll get to that later on in the show. Um, in your opinion... Okay, actually, you, you can't choose not to. So I'm like, okay. you have to take someone who played in the game yesterday. You're Grizz's GM. Is there someone that fits the best on the roster? You can't say no one. This is oh, hypothetical. I think, I think obviously Donovan Klingon would be a, a great fit. Now, you know, the, the Grizzlies are projected to pick in that six, seven, eight range. It could obviously be higher all the way up to number one. Mm -hmm. It could obviously be slightly lower. But, um, you know, there, it's unclear if where the Grizzlies are picking – if Donovan Klingon would be available. And it is also unclear that if you are actually trying to push toward a Western Conference title next season with presumably and hopefully a healthy John Morant, Desmond Bain, Jaron Jackson Jr., that, um, you know, doing that with a rookie center, is that really the way you go about this stuff? I, I understand um, both arguments to that side. And if uh, the Grizzlies think it's uh, the front office thinks it's uh, more reasonable to use that pick to bring back a veteran center or to use that pick on just best prospect available, regardless of position and try to get a center somewhere else. I don't I totally understand that. But I think it's easy to envision, you know, Donovan Kling and a seven foot two rim protector, real lob threat who can actually move his feet and guard in space in a way that Zach Eady, frankly, cannot. I would, you know, if I could snap my fingers and put Donovan Klingon on this roster, I would be real interested in doing that. The only question is, is that the best way to execute this lottery pick the Grizzlies are going to have, given that they are on the clock right now and trying to theoretically win a championship next season? Are you really putting yourself in the best position to win a championship next season if you select a center in the lottery and decide he's going to be our starter into the season. I don't know. I'll let other people debate it, and I'm sure we will uh, heading into the draft. But Klingon is an obvious fit, and he's a special, special talent. Can I ask you something about Zach Eady then? Because Kelsey, Kelsey, you can ask me anything. Anything? You see that video well, I online? Mean, no, I don't want to talk about that. Um, <laughs> Probably. Zach Eady was – it was very much like, like best player, like you're very good versus best team with a whole bunch of guys who are like good, good, good. I get that. Right. Everyone, everyone, the internet is divided, and I would love your opinion. Is Zach Eady, uh, I know you said he'll play in the NBA. Obviously, he'll find a spot somewhere. He's massive, and he's great. Is he Is he more of a G League guy for his first few years? Like, Do you see him contributing to at an NBA team? I'm not saying the Grizzlies. I think, I think he's going to play in the NBA next season. I, I think he would be the G League MVP right now. Like he, uh, but he, I think he could, I think he can play in the NBA next season. And that may be a slight overstatement. So let me backpedal that a little bit before it gets uh, up on the internet everywhere. But I do think he would overwhelm people in the G League the way he overwhelms people in college basketball. The NBA is going to be a little trickier for him because in our two hour pregame show yesterday, Wally Zerbiak, uh, Roy Hibbert, and myself, not that I belong in the same sentence with Wally Zerbiak and Roy Hibbert on a basketball yes, court, but we were all. But we were on a basketball court with our host, Brent Stover, and we were going through just pick and roll situations, trying to explain to the audience how Donovan Klingon can can guard in, 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 in the pick and roll and how uh, Zach Eady, frankly, cannot. And so you saw this materialize in last night's game. Anytime you're going to do a one five pick and roll and you're going to bring, say, Zach Eady out um, and, and then then he's got to either, you know, be able to guard in space or get into drop coverage. Well, 
he always gets into drop coverage. And so last night, every time, whether it was Tristan Newton or anybody else, they get that ball screen, Zach Eady drops. It's just an elbow jumper. I mean, that's, as Wally Zerbiak said on TV yesterday, for a good shooter, that's like an 80% shot. He said, I know it's a mid-range that NBA franchises don't like anymore, but if I told you you can get an 80% shot every possession for two points, like, uh, I don't care what the math is, that math's going to work for you. And so that's going to be a problem in the NBA that they'll have to figure out. And they will. There's ways to mask it and disguise it and hide it. And they do it with other bigs, and they'll have to figure out how to do it with him. Um, but offensively, I think that's going to work uh, pretty quickly because he's just so much bigger than most other people, so much stronger than almost, uh, most other people. And he is pretty coordinated, if not remarkably coordinated, for a player his size. The issue with Klingon is that he's not quite the offensive threat right now, certainly around the basket that Zach Eady is. But Klingon does project as more of a long-term shooter than Edie would be, and Klingon is obviously a defensive player that Edie can't 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 be. Uh, again, in that pick and roll demonstration, you just show it over and over again, and every time ZD drops, I mean Edie drops. If you just want to hit a free throw line jumper, it was there for you. It was there for everybody against Purdue all season long. With Klingon, if you're trying to put him in a pick and roll, that's never going to be there for you because he can actually um, um, show. He can move his feet. He can disrupt. And then he can drop back into coverage, and it accomplishes nothing. So that's the difference between them as college players and NBA prospects. Undeniably, Zach Eady's the better college player, two-time National College Player of the Year. But uh, Donovan Klingon, he's the better NBA prospect. I think just about anybody would, would agree. Okay, I know you got to go, but I have another question. Ah, <laughs> you should never invite me on because I'm curious. Oh, are uh, you kidding me? I, again, I... I'm not a big college basketball person. I don't know a lot. But what I do know is that I follow you on Twitter and I read all your tweets and I try and understand. You tweeted something about Nate Oates staying in Alabama. Um, that was like one of the rumblings of maybe a coach that could potentially uh, take the Kentucky job. Kansas? Um, well, am, I, am I losing my mind? No, no Kentucky because Kentucky. John Calipari is leaving yeah. for, for Arkansas. And so, um, listen, th that's always one of those deals where – it could be because he genuinely just could never see himself leaving Tuscaloosa, or it could be because he wasn't actually high on Kentucky's list, either because of the way he handled the Brandon Miller situation or because of some other stuff or because he has an $18 million buyout. But sometimes guys will, coaches, announce that they're not interested in a job mm -hmm. when they know they're probably not getting the job anyway. I'm not here to tell you Didn't which is Penny true. did do that with the Orlando Magic job? Didn't he like will, announce, he, like, hey, I'm not going – well, there are certainly people who will tell you that's what he did. But um, I, 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 do, I do know that he was um, legitimately interviewed by the Magic. But when he withdrew from the job, it was um, never because he was actually turning down the Orlando Magic to stay at the University of Memphis. I think he just realized he wasn't actually a real option at the Orlando Magic. And so it's possible that Nate Oates um, reached that point as well with Kentucky. But the point I made yesterday is that um, I would have made NATO's tell me no if I were Kentucky. $18 million buyout, whatever it costs, he would have had to tell me no because I think he's built to handle the stuff that goes with being the Kentucky head coach. He's probably been the best coach in the SEC over the past five years. He's got two SEC regular season titles, two SEC tournament titles. Um, he plays a modern style of basketball that everybody enjoys. So perhaps Kentucky just didn't want him for a variety of reasons. But that is a guy who I would have targeted and I would have made him say no to me before I moved on. Meantime, my colleague Jay Wright has already publicly indicated he has no interest in being Kentucky's next coach. Dan Hurley, after winning a national championship last night, indicated he has no interest in being Kentucky's head coach. So this thing could get a little tricky. Uh, Bruce Pearl is an Can obvious you option. Thumbs up? I, I literally do this, and then sometimes it pops up on my screen. I haven't figured out how to fix that yet. A, can you do a heart with your hands, like a double heart? No, but give us some confetti, GP. Oh, look at the love. Look at that. Sorry look to that. you. It was just that surprised me. No, I know. I'm, I've got, I'm trying to figure them all out. There's something you can do with a peace sign, too, but it's not working right now. So, <laughs> so Bruce Pearl is an obvious option uh, to at least consider. Um, Scott Drew is somebody I'm sure they'll want to talk to. Uh, T.J. Otzelberger at Iowa State. 
I don't think it's crazy to at least circle back with Rick Pitino and have a conversation, although I'm not certain that they would. Does Billy Donovan want to keep coaching a whatever team in the NBA or run the biggest program in college basketball? Maybe that's worth a phone call. But it is looking like right now um, Kentucky might have to wait a minute to figure out who its next coach is. And in the meantime, all those recruits are getting pulled to Fayetteville with John Calipari, or at least he's at least he's trying to. So it's an interesting time in Lexington, no question. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have updates from you later on in the week or next week or whenever that unfolds. Gary, thank you so much. Good luck with everything you have to do today, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. You will see me tomorrow. And before I get out of here, let me thank you uh, and Bennett and everybody else there because I know it's not uh, ideal to have a full-time employee like me hosting a daily radio show on the or podcast on the on the uh, road as much as I am, especially lately. And we wouldn't be able to do this um, without you and everybody else uh, pitching in and, and helping out. It is not your job to do this show when I'm there, but I really appreciate you you filling in when you do. And I, I can't thank you enough for helping us out. Oh, well, we love you, GP. Just get we home love safe. You too. Bring some I'll sunshine do my best. when you come back too. I'm gonna pack it in my carry-on. I'll thank see you. you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Everyone else, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with five more things. I promise a special guest. I promise a hot and heavy take from Benny. Let's go. (laughs) We'll be back after a quick break. Justin Timberlake. The Forget Tomorrow World Tour. Live in Memphis. Justin Timberlake. FedEx Forum, Saturday, November 23rd. Get tickets now at LiveNation.com. The brand new single, Selfish, is available to stream and download now. For more, hit up JustinTimberlake.com. Heart Royal Flush Tour 2024. November 14th, FedEx Forum. A journey through the hits and timeless classics. Iconic band returns with special guests. Jason Bonham's Led Zeppelin Evening. Tickets on sale now at heart-music.com. Heart with Jason Bonham's Led Zeppelin Evening. Produced by AEG Presents. Don't worry, be fluffy world tour. The minute you get into a brand new relationship, like magic. You know who really notices just how happy you are, guys? Other women, not your woman. Look how happy he is. I bet I can change that. Friday, May 10th, FedEx Forum. Get your tickets now at fluffyguy.com. Don't miss a Memphis. Don't worry, be fluffy world tour. Electric, rowdy, intense. They bring the same mentality that they bring anywhere into the building. If they were mad about something, they're bringing it in. If they were happy about something, they're bringing it in. So we need all that energy times a thousand. Real country music with Cody Johnson live Saturday, April 13th at FedEx Forum. Country's best, the Leather Tour, with Cody Johnson, with special guest Justin Moore, also featuring Drake Milligan. VIP and reserve seats on sale at Ticketmaster.com in the FedEx Forum box office. Cody Johnson. We know there's only one team you want to watch, and Valley Sports is the place to get your Grizzlies. Experience the comebacks, the buzzer beaters, the can't-miss Memphis-made moments, live. Valley Sports keeps the grind going before and after the game, too, with Pete, Brevin, Fish, and Chris on Grizzlies Live. Watch Grizzlies basketball all season long with Valley Sports and streaming on the Valley Sports app. Valley Sports, home of the only team you want to watch. Um, all right. Benny Bear is What's here. What's up? We're ready to do 
five more things. Would you like to do five more things I you would need to know? I would love to do five more okay, things. Okay, I got a bunch of stuff today, actually. Here we go. Let me hit this little sounder. Number Slight. one. We were supposed to have a special guest in here, but I guess he's, like, not coming. He'll so. come. Oh, so I had to wear my... Um, my prescription sunglasses today. Um, I got these yesterday because um, I looked into the eclipse. Like more than once. He looked into the eclipse. We were all in the parking garage and we'll talk about like the experience. But he looked at it more than once, you guys. So, went, oh, that hurts. Let me do it again. So um, my vision is uh, is a little off today. Um, and, and I did. I Listen, in fairness, I looked at the eclipse with the glasses, too. But, you know, like, when you're young and, like, your parents tell you not to do something mm -hmm. and you, you just, like, you can't stop yourself. Like, once somebody tells you you can't do something, mm -hmm. like, stare directly into the eclipse, mm -hmm. you, you have to but do I it. But I told you to do it. You, you dared me to do it. So, really, this is on you, what's happened to me in my vision. Noah, Miles, I can't even I'm see so you. sorry I've blinded your father. He will not see you grow up. Yeah, that's right. No, I'm okay. I'm 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 done doing just fine. The, but you, it did like. Do you like these shades? Yeah, I don't mind. Vernon them. gave these to me. Yeah, I don't mind them at all. I They're don't not like really the, prescription. I don't like the noise they make on they your kinda, iPhones. They kind of look like prescription glasses, but I kind of like them. I kind of like. They give me like cop vibes. They're you know, like, like uh, they're like uh, snow. Some snowboard dude made them, or some skater dude made them. Who? Uh, I don't know. Uh, actually, I oh yeah, our special guest said he's stuck at the door. All right, come on in, man. It might be the door that you need the badge though. Oh, I hear, uh, I hear, I hear him. I hear him. Come on in. Uh, no, these are uh, Stay Psyched from Jamie O'Brien. I think he's like a, a skater dude or something. Um, anyway, so the eclipse happened yesterday. Everyone's Come excited here, for our man. special guest. Bro. Come on in here. Come on, dude. This ain't like the this ain't like the Chris Vernon show. You can't just waltz in whenever you please. We have to have places ready once the camera comes on. No, it's all good. Let me turn your mic on. Hello, good American. Uh, Devin Walker joins us now. Um, so we're talking about the eclipse yesterday. Uh, we all went on the roof and enjoyed it. The players were all out there. The whole everybody was out there. It was like a party up there on the rooftop of FedEx Forum. I wasn't for expecting the parking that. Garage. Why the hell do you have sunglasses on? These are my prescription. My eyes got damaged from looking into the eclipse. Oh, <laughs> oh. yeah. So <laughs> yeah. does everyone have a box? Oh, do we have boxes? I, box. I don't know if we have Can boxes. Box oh. There we are. Boxed Look at up. us. Look at us now. Yeah, yeah, okay, so up. um up. first off, what did you guys think of the eclipse? This group of three has never been together. No, uh, no. we have been. Like, but... <laughs> there's wow. Trip. There's Jaron Jackson. Great. Yeah, that's Great. the parking garage. Yeah, up top, you know. Yeah, we've been together, guys, but we haven't been together. Um, no, I'm saying like when I saw of three camera. of our when I saw three of our boxes, I'm like, oh. Yeah. So you sent me this tweet last night. Uh, KJ, uh, basically Google searches uh, for people hurt, have their eyes hurt. Yeah, I, my eyes hurt was trending um, on Google yesterday. And it's funny because as soon as you sent me that, I was like, wait, my eyes like really do hurt from looking into the eclipse. So to everyone else that did that yesterday, I, I'm with you. Like, I, I, I feel your pain. What, what? Okay, I got to hide. I, I'm sorry. I got, I got to do it. Let's hear it. Because after experiencing it yesterday... And being up there on that damn roof, mm -hmm. we had a picnic up there. there yeah, was yeah. Music playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The party was total eclipse of the yeah. heart. It was, was playing, a lot of was blasting. People yeah. got out of school for this shit yesterday. I'm sorry, y'all. Why? It's it was overrated. Okay. Like I, like we stood outside, looked at the sky for a minute, bro, and went back inside. All right. First off, I think it was overrated. I'm sorry. We eclipse overrated. Okay. We in our location were not in the path of totality, and so. We didn't get the full on eclipse experience. And so, what the hell were we standing at the sky then? I mean, we still got to see some of the eclipse, but I, what I'm they saying. They closed schools. They closed for school, that. bro. I called my mom like, and said, Why are y'all out of school today? There I, was a state of emergency in Arkansas. Arkansas was shut down yesterday because everybody was it flocked to, to see Arkansas. Was for like a second on my glasses? Yeah, it was beautiful. It yeah, was cool. it was like two seconds, bro. We all know every, some things uh -huh. in life are better when they're two seconds. And the eclipse is like, it was quick and easy, and we're done. Get back to work, guys. So but people were just like, oh, look at the eclipse. Oh, look, I'm going to put my glasses on. Take them back off. Oh, look at it again. Like, bro, like, I just, I just don't, I guess. I I'm looked at it for player. like a good 15 seconds. I was like, that's cool. You're I thought it, it was 15 cool. 15 seconds? I think so. Not yeah. all at once, but like I looked and then I like came back down and talked to you guys and I like looked again and I was like, oh, that's neat. Okay. So I yeah. knew y'all were going to do this. Because uh, I knew it was lame. I knew y'all were going to do the, this. The, all right. the, the eclipse was lame. Hang on. I knew y'all were going to do this. And, and so I came, 
I came prepared. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. um, came prepared. So, like I said, we weren't in the path of totality yesterday. I believe Dallas was in the path of totality yesterday. And we have a video that a lady recorded of the eclipse, and it went viral yesterday. Okay. And oh, we I, we can't have the audio, I think, because she's, like, saying bad words. Uh, I don't know if we can have the audio. Oh, the audio's good, too. Okay, it, I can do the audio right now. She's going, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. So, um... Look, look at it. Look at it. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's about to it's about to it's about to make the sky completely dark in Dallas. Wow. I wish and she's like going, Oh Jesus, oh my God, thank you, Lord. Like she's losing her mind, like during this video. Um Wow. I know. See, if wow. without the audio, it's not. I can't. Yeah, I thought that I mean, was going to be just, more convincing. Yeah, just, just, yeah, <laughs> the was, audio would have made the video. That was almost as lame as the eclipse yesterday. <laughs> <Damn. Video. laughs> hey, Bennett, can we play this video again? This is, yeah. this is awesome. This is okay, great it's content. Not even, nothing. <laughs> great, great job, Bennett. Hey, hey, let's watch this video with no yeah, sound. Can we, can we play that? that? That was stunning. Okay, this fine. Guy, man. All right, fine. The eclipse sucked. Okay, there you the go. eclipse sucked. The eclipse yeah, yeah. Nobody lying. had a good time. My eyes got burned. I can't see either of you guys. Like, uh, yeah. Can you Every imagine being those people who like flew in from all over the country to go to Jonesboro? Flew like you spent money on a flight, on a hotel, For on two a car, minutes, bro. Two minutes. I mean, I two minutes. Like, if you're somebody that's really into like, a Bennett, what's the most amount of money you spent on two minutes? <sighs> <laughs> I'll answer that off air. Um, no, no, no. Answer it here. <laughs> Why won't you answer the question? No. What's the wait? Say the question again. What's the most amount of money, money you've spent on two minutes? The most amount of money. I've, oh, um, easy. Like a ride at Disney World. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a good answer, yeah, you right? Had, you had yeah. to take that one in, huh? Yeah, a ride That's at Disney World. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you pay all that money to go do that, and the rides are all two minute, two minutes long, mm -hmm. but it's still a lot of fun. So mm -hmm. yeah, I would say that's worth it. Um, mm -hmm. What about you guys? Two minutes? Yeah. Probably like a good like fast food meal, maybe. So you haven't spent a lot of money? Yeah, maybe like a like a Chick-fil-A meal. Probably takes a maximum two minutes to eat. Yeah, I, I know? like that. I like that. That's a good you know answer. Saying? Yeah, yeah. Kelsey, KJ? your turn. I feel like... Yeah, uh -huh, two minutes. What about like walking across the stage to get your degree? That, I mean, that, that didn't take two minutes, though. It's just mm. like 30 seconds. Less. I know. I didn't go to graduation. I see what I'm you're trying saying. trying to think of like I what's get the what most expensive. Oh, she's trying yeah. to get all sentimental with it. No, I'm trying to think of like what's the most expensive thing you could spend. Two, you bought an expensive meal and you've eaten it really fast. Like, yeah. Mm, I don't know. Two minutes. Alcohol, maybe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? That's a good one. Yeah, like an good. expensive drink at a bar. Yeah. Yep, yeah that's a good okay, one. Or bottle go. service. You could, two minutes is low key, high key. I know. Now time. that I'm thinking about it, like walking across the stage, like that's way that's less a than two long minutes. Time, like two bro. minutes is, but a whole meal in two minutes, I don't think. I've smashed a meal in two minutes before, <laughs> for sure. Especially when I was, I was feeling good. But yeah, overall, the eclipse was overrated. Thumbs down. If you stood outside. I'm thumbs here, I think. If you I, stood outside and stared at the sky, you, I mean, do you, bro? But I think if I would have glasses on, it would have been Okay, I think if I would have been in the yeah, path of totality, it would have been a lot cooler. I so we should all flock to Arkansas. We should all go to Jonesboro or, or Little Rock. Or do you think it would have been cooler slash prettier slash whatever if we didn't make like a huge deal out of it? You know what I mean? If it was just like there was like not a party and like yeah, think, state of emergencies. Like it was just like, hey, everyone, go, go check outside. it out. Yeah, I think it's like. I th I mean, for somebody that lives on the internet, I think the internet kind of like, you know, overhyped it. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And they were like, oh my God, it's not going to happen again to 2044. I'm like, I don't give a damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> I liked it, but I, I, cool. I, I, I'm agree. I agree. I'm somewhere in the middle. I wanted to see it. I wanted to experience it like everybody else did. It's like FOMO if you don't, mm -hmm. but sure. I'm, Do you feel like you have FOMO if you didn't look at it? I have FOMO about everything, bro. I had FOMO about y'all's WrestleMania party at Vernon's house. He keeps house. saying party. It was not a party, bro. He, like he a literally has said it 25 times and 26 like a, times. I'm like, stop calling it a party. It was like a gathering, bro. And like we were there small... with like his daughter. It wasn't like a party. Yeah, we just kicked it, bro. It seemed like if I saw y'all's video yesterday, that looked like a party we to had me. A good time. Yeah, it looked like y'all were having fun. I was sitting on the couch by myself. So, yeah. <laughs> you need better friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's GP? <laughs> or, He's in Phoenix. <laughs> or a babysitter. Um, One of the two. Okay. Uh, I think that covers it. I yeah. Felt good about the eclipse. I enjoyed it. You say thumbs down, and I you're somewhere in the mid. middle. Okay. All right. Thumbs hey, mid. one, two, three. Do your arrow to to to. Uh, there you go. I'm thumbs up. I'm thumbs go. up. All right. All right. All right. Raw. 
Bennett. Yep. Number two. This is for so, you guys. Uh, yeah, uh, that's one of the reasons we want to bring Devin in here. Uh, last night was the Raw After Mania. Uh, we talked ad nauseum about WrestleMania yesterday on all the shows, so I don't think we need to rehash it. But uh, Raw After Mania is always a big Monday Night Raw, probably the biggest of the Did year. Did you watch Dev? Yeah, I did. I got. I guess. I got some things to say. Uh, about. Okay, so it has a smile and Devin. Yeah, why are you smiling? I'm nervy. Okay, so what you, I you watched it right? I watched the whole thing. Okay. Um, I thought the beginning was awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the rest of the show was mid. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the I'm beginning was took, awesome. Glad you keep it real. Rest of the show was pretty mid. Now they t so basically what happened was um the start of the show Triple H comes out thanks the fans and dude first off the crowd in Philly last night was awesome better than any of the mania crowds like that was because I was down on the crowd at WrestleMania I thought the crowd sucked yeah. I thought that the, the moments where there's supposed to be big pops just nothing happened to be fair, it, it was like 30 degrees outside. it was cold I get it you're you outside for four hours and cold. it's hard to get yeah. it, you know what I'm saying but the raw crowd last night in Philly was lit like oh, they, they so basically what happens at the start of the show it's a long intro Triple H comes down you know you're you're it's the new era the Paul Levesque era of WWE he comes down <laughs> brings out your new universal champ Cody Rhodes Cody gets his flower it's an awesome moment. The crowd's going crazy. You deserve it. Da, 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 da. You deserve it. And this just lasts a long time. Like yeah, they draw dude. this thing it out, draw it out, draw it out. out. Lots of cheers, lots of chanting. And then if you smell. And then a rock. Rock's music hits. Okay, wait, before yeah, you get yeah, there, yeah. can I ask you a question? Yep. Yeah. And I made this joke on Twitter last night. Kelsey, you probably can get in here too. Why the hell does Rock have to? Why does he have a belt? Why does Rock have his own belt? Oh, I, I did like see you Rock's tweet that. Yeah, like, yeah, like, he just like, made his own belt. He's like, yo, everybody else has a belt, so I have a belt too. But continue, my bad. Y'all don't like the Rock's belt. We should no, just walk in here with belts. Exactly, just walking like I'm the champion, so I'm just gonna hold on. I got a belt with me. In, continue. Can, in you're, fairness, you're in me, and, me and you do make fun of people that bring belts to WWE events that are not champions. Exactly. So I guess The Rock, yeah, the deserves rock, a little of that heat too. You goofy ass Rock. Continue. <laughs> you and your back. You're cooking. Go ahead. Go okay. So he The was, Rock comes really down. Excited. Crowd is wild, and the crowd literally does not let the rock get in a word for five minutes. You look I mean, cool right now it with is. Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, I told you, Vernon gave me these. You look yeah. like you ride a Harley Davidson, low key. Uh, let's go. Uh, oh, you ruined it. So sorry. Yeah. Don't, yeah, do, you don't do this. that again. Yeah, sorry. Just, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> so the whole place just went dry when you did that, bro. <laughs> Damn it! I was right there. This too. Was I was right there too. Golly. You're so close. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. So the rock comes down and uh the crowd will not let him talk for five minutes. Every time he puts the microphone over to that boom. Oh, they, was, they told him to shut the F up. They told the him rock? they had dude, yes. they had to bleep out the crowd like multiple times on yes. the broadcast. Like it's just no audio because the crowd is just cussing him out. Shut they the call him F up. Asshole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Asshole. yeah. yeah. Like just asshole. all over him. And I mean every, Undertaker. every time he puts the mic up to his mouth and he just has to stop away. So that was was a cool moment and then you have this uh back and forth with the rock and cody and i'll give the crowd credit even more they uh, started going this is awkward okay so this is what they this is what they're saying awkward for so just imagine kelsey if you had a you have a purse right i'm gonna put i'm gonna put it in i have your, a purse i'm gonna put it in your terms you have a very nice purse right okay and you and your my your, terms well yeah so like you understand wrestling so you understand like real life stuff so okay. just imagine you have a nice okay. purse right okay. and imagine. one of your friends has a really nice purse mm -hmm. You actually earned your purse. Yeah, I bought it. Right? And this other girl's like, I really like your purse. Can mm -hmm. I hold it? But I wanna... she didn't buy that. Exactly. Can I hold your purse? Like, really kind of awkwardly. And so that he, like, he, like, reaches for, like, the belt. He's like, can I hold it? And he, like, puts it on the shoulder. And so the crowd starts chanting, this is awkward. Uh-huh. This is yeah, it was like a very if, awkward situation. Like if you asked to like put my purse on your shoulder, I'd be like, "Yo, yeah, what are you doing, right. bro? That's my purse, bro." Right. I earned this. You just have a made up belt. Yeah. Uh, so that's yeah. Take that, your take your yeah 
Amazon purse and there, go home. There you go. Okay. So Continue, I get it. Uh, so Roman, gonna, Ro- right and, and, and I think we all knew this. I, I said I thought it was going to happen. I think everyone assumed it. Like Roman Reigns wasn't there last night. Roman's taking a break. He's gonna. He'll be back. Been better than ever, but he's gonna take a break. He was. He, yeah, he came dude to carried the company night. on his back for yeah, four he, years. He was, like he was, he was down on Main Street last night. Yeah, he deserves yeah. himself a little break. So. At, at, down the street. So Roman's getting himself a break. <laughs> Him and Kelsey are gonna be hanging out in the off season. Uh but he'll be back. Type um show. and uh You know, get to the best part where he says okay, So what I, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he grabs the he has he takes them out of his pocket. He takes them out of his pocket. Shout out to the Splendor. He ca- asks Cody for his hand mm-hmm. and he says, Don't you ever let me down again. Oh, no, he said, Don't you ever break the rock's heart break again? Break the rock heart again. Yeah. And he slides him. Who said this, that? The Rock, the said, Rock that. said it to the Cody. The Rock said that to Cody. He, yeah. he referred to himself in third person. Yes, he did. Okay. Because The Rock could do that. Okay, okay, okay. The Rock's goaded. He slides him this like weird, like whatever he slid him. He take Cody, yeah. take, he said, you don't have to look at it to know what it is. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh. And we don't know what it was. We don't know what it was. The we Rock don't know what gets he handed the ring him. And he leaves. He leaves. That was it. That's he said, when I come back, he said, The Rock has to leave. But when The Rock comes back, he's coming for you. Yeah, so the news. So what do ca- you guys think it was? Okay, so first, I think. CP. Well, I, what I saw people say was, um, and I don't know if this is true at all. Apparently, maybe Cody gifted The Rock a Rolex or something. That was I saw that going around online so last he night. Came out, yeah. He came out to the ring last on um, Mania. We sound like nerds right now. He came out nah, to Mania. We're nerds with now. Wearing, it's Mania week. Wearing man. a Rolex that his dad wore. Like It was just a whole situation. But I don't, you would see a watch, bro. Mm-hmm. You would see if the rock. Oh, I got you. Watch. Yeah, that's. I think that's true. It was big. small. You're right. It was like a small. It was something small. He like cuffed it in his hand and said, "Take this." The rock's hand is big too, though. Exactly. That's true. Yeah, that's so, true. So now, Kelsey, we have a new story. What yeah, if the rock slide, Cody. So the rock's taking a break too. He's got a movie that's to go right. film, and uh, this came out. I think we got the graphic. This came out uh, after Raw last night. Basically. Everybody thinks that it's going to be The Rock and Cody Rhodes at the next WrestleMania, that The Rock's going to go and film this movie. Um, I don't know what it is that he's working on. Um, some movie about action, probably. Yeah, I don't know what. It's probably some action he's probably movie. Like He'll be the like hero. Yeah. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, but he's, he's uh, picking up cars and shit. Also, by the way, can we talk about that being one of the most ridiculous scenes ever in movie history? What, the Fast Rock and Furious? Rock picking up a car, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Come on, bro. Uh, so on, so the, Rock, um, the Rock's gone, Roman's gone, but everybody's assuming now, and, and it's been reported out there, that The Rock will come back for the next WrestleMania. It'll be Rock versus Cody for the title at the next WrestleMania. Yeah, WrestleMania 41. WrestleMania Next year, and it's in Dave, Minnesota, Kelsey. You want to go? Yeah. I love Minnesota. And Dave Meltzer's been right on this kind of stuff before, so um, we'll see, man. I, I and that was really it, right? That like, was really the, it. the rest of the show. John was Cena bad. came back. John Cena bad, came bad, back. Bad. John Cena came back. Yeah, but like I feel like as a Raw after Mania, I'm probably this is two out of two. I've, I've pooped on, but uh, as far as the Raw after Mania, you expect like big things to happen, big yeah. comebacks, mm-hmm. big debuts. Uh, you expect stuff like that to happen. Yeah, Kelsey, another one. I will say the the big highlight of the show, other than that, was my guy Ricochet. He's this bald dude. Love He's him. He's like a walking video. Shout game. out. He. Let's imagine this, Kelsey. You ready? The rest Imagining of the again. A person's laying on the table, right? Yeah. Oh, decapitated. Oh, I can't move. Oh my god. Ricochet jumps on the rope vertical, does a four fifty flip onto the person. The table breaks. He apologized to his girlfriend before he did it. Why? He said, "I'm sorry." Why? Because his girlfriend's a ring announcer. Yeah. So he told her, I'm sorry. She's the one that cried this. when Cody won the won The one the I'm obsessed with. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He told her, he said, I'm That's sorry. Strong voice. He said, I'm sorry for doing this. He said, I'm sorry. Why? And if you see it, it's insane. Y'all can't play it. Don't it's get us insane. Flagged. Yeah, it's insane. But, oh, I'm going to play. Oh, he like, like flips he off the, the rope person. onto the table. And it looks like, I mean, it looks like he for real hurt his back. Yeah, like the way yeah. he lands on the table. Yeah. I love Ricochet, man. I don't think he gets enough credit. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's just one of those guys that they throw out on a on a you know one of the shows for a good match but i'm like dude push that guy because he's one of your best athletes you've got v- video games so yeah. ricochet but yeah raw at the mania was lame i don't know yeah it was lame yep we're moving on moving on number three all right so um why is it called cinematic kj it's you i thought it was a good title oh okay yeah you're the host oh you're the oh. You're the, t- you're the one that writes these titles you're the host and you can't yeah i did these yeah okay Look i don't write them every day gp okay. writes get them your, most days get in your bag then Billy yeah Doyle. Well, you came up with the first one. You came up with the first part of this, pretty much. I came up with cinematic? No, no. The first topic in this 
segment of five I did? things. Okay, all right, yeah. whatever. Keep going. Talk. Talk about this thing. Whatever, whatever okay. this is. So uh, we got a bunch of <laughs> we got a bunch of movie news yesterday. Do oh. you know that Bennett is obsessed with what's her name? Mia. Well, we're gonna get to that. But does do you know who that is? Who? Wait, hold on. We're gonna get to that. Mia Save it. No. Save the team. Save Mia, the team. You obsessed with Mia Khalifa? No, not Mia Khalifa. No, no. Um, you sure? No, I promise. Well, she has a sports podcast. <laughs> no, no. This is about movie stars. Oh, okay. um, she's a she movie is a movie star. star. Mia Khalifa's a movie star. Well, uh, not that kind of movie. <laughs> not that kind of movie. Okay. Not the two minute movie. Um, <laughs> the two minute movie. So, uh, so we got a bunch of movie news yesterday, and you know me. I am the resident GCM cinema head, so you we're going to talk about JB. it. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so me and JB have some fire movie segments on her show, too. Yeah, um, sit in the corner and talk about movies. So, okay, <laughs> shut up. All right, so <laughs> we're going to do this. Um, the first news is uh, the big release coming out this month. One of the big releases coming out this month is the new movie Challengers, which is it relates to sports because it's a tennis movie. It starts the great Zendaya. Y'all know Zendaya. Oh, I used Love to be obsessed. You guys with her. know Zendaya. She's okay, so, so it drops April twenty six. Have y'all seen the trailer for this movie? No. I think they actually might have played one last night during the uh, championship broadcast. Um, it's about a former tennis prodigy turned coach. Uh, she's married to a champion that's on a losing streak, and basically. Um, her strategy for her husband's redemption tour, it takes a surprising turn when he has to face off against his former best friend and her former boyfriend. Whoa. So, sounds like real life. Okay, so oh, this. Oh, <laughs> let's go. It gets juicy. Let's go. Bam, bam, bam. All right, so the casuals are calling this the, the threesome movie, the Zendaya threesome movie. The casuals. Oh, ca- you called it that via text. No, but that's what a lot of the people. The casuals. Well, yeah. So he's trying to like put it on other people. No, like, no, no, no. You're well, really the one. It the okay, but movie? like when you see like graphics for the, like when anybody posts anything about this movie, the image that they use and like the one of the main parts of the movie trailer is her and the two tennis stars like all sitting on the bed next to each other. So you know something's coming. Pause. 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 We know who's coming, Big Bennett. Big pause. Oh my God, Bennett! It is not even eleven a.m. He put the sunglasses on and it gets raunchy in here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't. Why'd you he say it like sweating. that? Look at him. He started sweating. He's starting to freak yeah. out right now. Y'all are scaring he's clicking me. Y'all stuff. are scaring me. Let me close these tabs he's real quick. Worried, okay. All right. So the earlier views of this movie. Are- oh, Jess wants to join. <laughs> she said, why, why'd I leave? Okay, continue. Okay, so the uh, the oh, earlier see. views of this movie are really good. Uh, same director that did uh, Call Me By Your Name, uh, the Suspiria remake, Bones and all. So he's he's like already kind of a controversial director. Uh, I've, we don't need to get into all that. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Zendaya and the cast, they're doing a press tour right now. Uh, she's you know doing her thing per usual on the red carpet, yes. right? And so we're going to do a game. We're going to yeah. do a game on this segment. It's kind of similar if you watch uh, the Sneak Fest show, which, Overrated sh- or no. which you can check out today at 2 p.m. on no. Grind City Media. Keep it or kick it. We oh, do a game oh. called Keep It or Kick It every oh. week where we judge fits, right, of mm-hmm. NBA players. Mm-hmm. NBA players fits. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to judge Zend- Zendaya's red carpet fits. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. this should be a fun game. And so she we're once gonna, retweeted me, by the way. We're gonna, <gasps> what? Yeah, dude, it made my life. Sorry? What? Yeah. What did she retweet? She retweeted me, then she unretweeted it, so it was fine. Did you get a screenshot? What? Oh, yeah, I got a screenshot. Okay, thank God. What, what did she re- Do you remember what it was? I don't know, it, was about, it was about euphoria, and I retweeted about something about Zendaya, and she retweeted me. Uh, so probably one of the best moments of my life. Yeah, Top I five. would end it after that. I was so excited. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do this uh, uh, Keep It or Kick It Zendaya Red Carpet Edition. If we can get the first two fits up there now a lot of these are tennis inspired right because it's oh a tennis God, I movie love her so much all right so i'll be the how about i'll be the tiebreaker and we'll okay. let you two i'll mess with this we'll one. let you two judge right yeah. okay so okay. can i explain them no this them? the floor is yours let's go yeah okay so i did see something she has okay hold on oh i don't have the. she's t- at a loss for words Oh, yeah. Because the one on the left is so classic. Like, she just looks, like, so classic and perfect. Like a British tennis but star. But obviously the one on the right is much, like, a sexier, like, sultry look. Yeah, I like the little skin right there. You see like, you see a little okay, ab okay, right okay. there. Okay. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? What? Okay, relax. No, I like the dynamic. <laughs> I like the dynamic. It's like, <laughs> it's like get you a woman that can do both, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's I, so classy and cute, but then she's, like, so... I'm going to go sultry. I'm going to go right. She can do. The, she can do left with the yeah. Which one are you going? I'm gonna go right too, bro. Okay. The, I like the little lean Damn, too. I, I think like the y'all lean. are wrong. Hand, my gosh. Hand on the side. Okay, we're kicking yeah. the left. We're kicking the Kick left. Kick the Kyra. left. Kick the left. All right. Oh, okay. 
You got the challengers. Like she's literally stunning. Like a a low she's a, beautiful a low rise maxi skirt is so in right now. Unfortunately, I am gonna stick with the right still, but I love this look for her. Yeah, I like like I'm a big fan of people wearing white. Um, but I'm gonna go. Yeah, the right one's just the right is just it's, the right it, should it, not have started. It, it is that what the kids say? It's giving. You know it, what is, I'm it is giving. It's a lot. giving, giving boss. It's, it's, it's giving yeah, it's boss giving. lady. It's giving like bro. I can like you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Shout out to this All right, let's guy. kick the left one. Kick the, the left one. Yeah. That right one's elite. Kick it. Yeah, kick the left. Kick the, the left. The challengers, yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. She's stunning. Yeah. This this one's a, I don't know. Her arm looks weird in this one. <laughs> <laughs> I think her arm looks good. Yeah, I don't know. I why, like that why arm. Why is her arm doing that? No, I like that arm. <laughs> That's a that, nice arm. The, the arm's like doing this weird thing. She is stunning. Zendaya is beautiful. All right, which one? We're kicking the, kicking I'm the left. kicking the left. I'm kicking the left. All right, no, okay. We might have a sweep here. We're going to kick the left one. Yeah, because we... Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, this no. is tennis girl. This, this is, is tennis girl outfit okay. right here. Okay. Well. Okay, so hear me out. I'm switching. I'm going to kick the right on this one. I love that she looks, like, sporty, sophisticated, and it's giving, like, like tomboy... But I'm still super hot. Yeah. Totally. These are the two stars that are in the movie. Where you might recognize the one guy who played oh, yeah. uh, Prince Charles on The Crown. Oh yeah, we can tell. They look like they're about to get active. Yeah, it's. A, I'm it's choosing. Like, seen before. I'm kicking the sultry look, and I'm keeping the tomboy look. So you you like the left? Yeah. Okay, which one you like? I'm gonna stick with the right because I feel like it, it's, giving, it's like it's like it's giving me like like I don't, now that I really like look at it, it's like that '90s like. R&B look, you know yeah, because of her hair. Yeah, it's, it's like something about that, like R&B with like Ashanti and like okay TLC and like all of that, like that kind of look, bro. So I'm gonna stay with the right. I'm gonna actually side with KJ and go with the left because I think it kind of sticks with like the theme of like the tennis movie and it's got the other stars in it. Like it, like it's 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 like the promo shot for the movie. It's I like that, the yeah. big shorts with the heels. Like a lot of it is just very contrasting. All right, so we're keeping the left. We're oh, kicking the no. green one on the right. I mean, oh, this, this so is just cute. a quarter zip. So, so yeah. cute. This is you a can't quarter keep zip, that. So we keep, kick the right. You can't keep that, right? Yeah. Kick, no, kick, kick we're, we're kicking zip. the right. We're She's kicking the right. She's cute as hell, but kick the quarter zip. Okay. I'm kicking that one too. Yeah. What? Looks, looks yeah. Like, yeah. She looks like yeah. Kick you don't right. like that one? Kick too plain. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're kicking the right. Oh my god. We're getting serious now. Yeah. You got the Sydney Opera House in the background. Yeah, we getting busy right now, boy. Kick the left. I'm kicking the left. I'm actually gonna keep the left still. I think, yeah, I like that. We're keeping the left, kicking the right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the one that you were talking about, KJ. I think this might be the last one. Yeah. The tennis balls yeah. on, the, on the shoe? But they're Loewe. Oh, we like, got one more. The tennis balls have Loewe on them. So you have to, like, understand, like, she's wearing, like, Loewe is, is high fashion, but it originated with sport. You know what I so mean? The so the tennis like, balls are what now? It's a brand. Yeah, they're designer. made out of. Don't even, don't even, oh, okay. Don't even. All right, my bad. They're a designer. I'm yeah. trying my best. I wore yeah. my fashion shades today. Oh. Yeah, we know. And you wore your fashion Godzilla crew neck and khaki shorts <laughs> to go with it. Fashion khaki shorts. Fashion. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to stick with Ow. Zendaya's fashion have a khaki keeper to, shorts. You know what we should do? We should have Ow. a keeper to kick it with you and Rosie. No. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you versus John Roser. Okay. Keeper to Hold on a second now. Like, no. I know. Yeah. I love Roser, but I, I mean, come on. I, I Come on. The, the black... Houston's bun down versus this. I think I'm gonna keep the black. Y'all don't like my graphic tee or crew neck. I like that. I didn't one. say I didn't like it. But it's I think cool. I think we should go you versus Roser and keep it a kick. Fine, it fine. Well, five, Roser, five I'll fits. put my fit up against. Blah, 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 blah. I'll put my fits up against Roser, Roser anytime. Has that like uh, orange Kanye t-shirt? Yeah, he got that. He got that t-shirt. Plus, do it. I don't care. He got the I'm black Houston's waiter waiter uh, bun down. We All right. Do five five okay. fits of versus you versus Rosa. Okay. For the next five days, I'm taking pictures of you guys. Set it up. Okay. Yeah, Set it up. I'm Let's keeping go. left. I'm keeping left. All right. Keep going. Wait. Well, which one did you? Which one do you want? Uh, give me the one on the right. Oh. Okay. Uh. Well, I gotta go. Then I gotta go the one on the right because the tennis balls. It's. I mean, it's unique. It's important. Yeah, yeah. So we're kicking the left. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. That's the final one right there. I'm obviously uh, going left. I'm gonna go right just yeah. because, like, it looks good on her, but like. I'm not going to be that person right now. We're not going to get into the details of things. I love the dress on the left. I think the slit is beautiful. I think her hair up. I love her in a side part. Like that side bang is so pretty. She got a little tan. I like her on the left. All right. I really think the tennis balls is a cool touch. Yeah. I yeah. think that's a unique yeah. touch. I'm I'm it's down sick. with it. And you got the tennis them. skirt outfit with it. Yeah. I, I got to go. 
I don't know where she playing tennis at with that. I, but, yeah. I gotta, I, I gotta oh, go I with the, the, I gotta go with the tennis ball uh, heels. I think that's, I think that's the one. Yeah, that's pretty, the one. Pretty cool. That's the one. That's your winner right there. Yeah, Zendaya that's, fits. That's pretty cool. By the way, the chat is feeding for this Rosa versus Bennett in a, in a fit off. Yeah. Okay. Can you all invite right. us back on the show? Well, yeah, is Gary yeah. here all the time, or like, are we? No, no. He, I'm sure he'll be out put at the, some put point. Put the yeah. box up. I want to. We gotta talk. We gotta get. So hey, okay. So Bennett, before we get into the next topic. What is going to be your top three like go tos if, in this? Film? No, because it's hap I'm taking a picture of you guys for the next five days, so you better come fit it. Okay, let me, well, I, let me think of it. Let me think on it. A you little gotta bit. get some fits off, bro. Rose, when Rosa gets in that bag, bro, he gets in that bag. I'm telling you. All right, let me think on it a little bit. I got. I, I need to. I need okay. to. We got a long day today, so let okay. me. All right. Let me gather myself. Okay. Let me it starts today. It starts today. Yeah, okay, this, that's fine. That's this, fine. This I'll, put this one one. I'll put this one up. I'll put fit one up. I'm good with fit one. I'm good with fit one. Okay. Can I wear the glasses? Yeah, okay, I, I, you can accessorize like however you want. I like fit one. Boy. All right, we're going with fit one. All okay. right, okay. Let's, uh, let's keep going. I got some other movie stuff. Um, oh no! <laughs> no, but it has porn stars in it. Oh, let's go. Yeah, yeah let's. Uh, uh, what? I'm wondering which one of these I want to do. If we want to try to get through all of them. Uh, no, nah, we can get through all of them. I don't. I don't care. Um, so he's uh, usually in a rush to get me out of here, but. Today? Today Y'all want to do a boring one first and then Maxine? No, can, no? We, get can to, we just can, not do the boring one? Can you not one? do the boring one? Can we just skip it's the just boring one? It's important to this me. This is a show. We it's important to me. Okay, then just say it and move on. Okay, uh, all I was going to say is uh, there's a new movie coming out called Megalopolis by okay, the no great cares, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> Megalopolis? It's by the great uh, Francis Ford Coppola, who of course directed the... <laughs> okay. He only directed some of the greatest movies of all time, all right? He directed The Godfather Trilogy, Apocalypse Now, uh, The Outsiders, Dracula. Sponsored by Coles. <laughs> <He did. laughs> it's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> shut up, chat. <laughs> tell, the sh tell the chat to shut up. I don't want to. I'm not even hey, looking at it. I'm sorry, dude. I got drool coming down my mouth because I've been sleeping for the last 10 seconds. <laughs> Bro, okay. Have you heard of The Godfather? Megalopolis. Okay. So, anyways, uh, he's this legendary director, and the studios are saying this is like his passion <laughs> project. He's an old guy now, okay? And the studios are saying it's too experimental and not good enough for the $100 million marketing budget that he wants to use to promote this movie. Mm -hmm. So, it's not even clear if a studio is going to pick up the movie. And it's like, like got a big cast Adam Driver, Shia LaBeouf, uh, LaBeouf, LaBeouf. I know him. Aubrey oh, Plaza's in it. Uh, so, like, my question, and then we'll move on. Can you, should you give a legendary director like this whatever he wants, regardless of what the critics and the studios think about what his movie might be? Yes. You should. Oh, you should. Yeah. If, if, they, if their lineage is like all those things you say, those movies. The Godfather. I think you get whatever you want. Kelsey? All right. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> they, would, hey, they would do this for Martin Scorsese or Steven Spielberg. They yeah. would, I mean, they would give him this marketing budget. So they ain't going to do it for one of the goats. Uh, what about it, Spike Lee? I think Spike, maybe, you know what? This is, that's actually a good comparison because yeah, Spike does these movies too that like are passion projects that maybe aren't super critically acclaimed. And I, it's, it's a good comparison. Um, but I think Spike should get whatever he wants. Maxine, Maxine. All right, let's move on to the next one. This is the one that I'm excited about. Uh, the Maxine trailer dropped yesterday. Triple X Maxine. Um, oh, is that one? Yeah, look. Okay, so that's this the, is the girl that Bennett loves, Mia Golf. Yeah, Mia Golf. Do you Goff. love more her or Rhea Ripley? Ooh, Ooh, I love her. I love her. Her more than Rhea Ripley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like Mia Golf because I'm a movie guy. Like oh, I'm a yeah. movie guy, yeah, and Rhea I think Ripley she, makes movies too. Well, and you're a wrestling guy too, aren't you? You're a wrestling guy. I'm more of a movie guy than a wrestling okay, guy. Okay, okay. I'm more of a movie guy than a wrestling respect, guy. Respect, respect. Okay. So, respect, respect. so I'm going with Mia Goth. Uh, new trailer dropped yesterday uh, for Maxine. This is the third installment of the X series, directed by Ty West. Now, KJ's watched all these. KJ has. Because um, is this the one with Vin Diesel? Me. No. <laughs> no. <What? laughs> no. That's Triple X. Oh, okay. <laughs> <That's, yeah. laughs> <Not bad. laughs> Two different. No, no, no. Not Triple X. Okay, so uh, Mia Goth stars. These you are actually might. They're. You might like this series. These are horror movies. But like creepy, like I creepy horror. horror. I mess with horror. Yeah. No, but it's creepy horror. It's elevated. It's, elevated. it's not like like jump scare. It's like 
like, no, I like, I like, like that. your skin will crawl. Yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. I like, okay. I like that. Give me that all day. So I'm fired up for this movie. Basically, the premise, 1980s Hollywood, adult film star, aspiring actri- actress Maxine Minks finally gets her big break, but as a mysterious killer stalks the starlets of Hollywood, a trail of blood threatens to reveal her sinister past. And we know a little bit about her sinister past because she was in X. So th- it's hard... These this is a trilogy, yeah, but they're different different time periods. So the first one X takes and they're pl- in the wrong order. Aren't they? They're in the wrong order. Yeah, they're out of order. So mm-hmm. so X the first one takes place in the seventies, and it's about these group of aspiring adult filmmakers going to this cabin. They go they go rent a cabin um, mm-hmm. on a farm, and uh, and their uh, Kid Cudi's in it. Like that's what the streets yeah. are saying. Kid, Kid Cudi's, Cudi's in it. Um, he's him. awesome in it, by the way. <laughs> Uh, you, know how, yeah. you know how the tall, no. is that the one where his wieners in it? Yeah, yeah. his wieners in it. Uh, yeah, his is wieners it, in it. It ain't a real wiener, is it? Because I saw, I think I saw Twitter talking about it. I think it's a real wiener, dude. I think it might be a you real see, wiener. Like, I saw like Twitter talking about yeah. it. Yeah, I think it's a real wiener. You think yeah, it's a real wiener. Yeah. Um. So he's in it. Uh, Mia oh, no. Goth's obviously in it. She's the main character. Jen Ortega's in it. You got a lot of big stars in that movie. Mm-hmm. Um. But anyways, they go to this uh this weird creepy farm to film an adult movie and. Bad stuff starts happening. The the premise to a great horror movie, right? Love it. Okay, so the next movie is Pearl, and it's a prequel to X. Also Bro, stars way, Mia Goth. You look like a movie director, which you high. Shout out, shout out. You look out. like you need to be like on a low quality two yeah. B ass movie set. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you do look like a movie director. It's the glasses, right? Yeah, for and sure. And the headphones, for sure. Yeah. Good to you though. Let's go because you you are cooking right places, now. everybody. Um, yeah. So uh, the uh, Pearl's the prequel to X, which takes place in like the 30s or 40s, I believe. It takes place a long time ago, and uh, it's, it takes place on the same farm. And it's about a uh, the a, late, a psychotic. The girl. Yeah, it's about one of the one of the villains of the first movie. Yeah, but how she becomes the villain. Yeah, I don't want to give away too much because yeah. I mean, people might want to watch this these movies. Movie came out two years. ago. I know, but we're talking about the new uh, one. I wonder how many of these movies that you you talked about are people going to actually like remember. Are they like writing it down at home? Yeah, right now? I hope. Yeah, get your pen and paper. Um, it's I, two years. I ago, want you y'all to watch these. It, like this is on you. Go watch. Yeah, it. but they're kind of you know they're they're. Okay. They're cult okay. classics. I don't know classics. if they're like huge, like Dev hasn't seen it. Hollywood no. blockbusters. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know if it's more of a cult classic. So right. X, no, they're kind of good. X right is there. the first one. What's Pearl is the second one. The new one is Maxine, which takes place in the 1980s. Mm-hmm. Um, so that would be the that's the most recent one. That's the most recent one. Mia Goth stars the again. The girl who didn't die in the first one. No, in the in the, in the first, first one. one. Yep. The timeline's crazy. The second one is, is a prequel. The first yep. One. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And so this is the third movie. It looks awesome. The trailer looks awesome. Huge cast. You got her, you got Mia Goth, Elizabeth Debicki, who played Princess Diane in The Crown, Michelle Moynihan, Bobby Cannavale, Lily Collins, Halsey's in it. Y'all know Halsey. Jean Carlo Esposito. I don't like that you say her name. Yeah. Halsey. Yeah, why you more, say it like the that? The S is more of a Z. Yeah. Why are you like Halsey? Why are you yeah. like slaying on the S like that? It's yeah. like salsa. Halsey. Salsa. Halsey. Yeah. It's Halsey. Halsey. Yeah. Okay, Halsey. Yeah, go. my fault. All right, she's in it too. Um, but the trailer looks awesome. Go check it out and uh, check out those other two movies because this one I think is going to be really good. Okay, uh, a couple quick ones. Oh my god, there's uh, more. Oh yeah, I got I got more. I told you there's a big movie day yesterday. I, have to pee. I didn't just I didn't just do this because I like wanted to fulfill my little hopes and dreams. I did this because there was some thought, news dropping hey, yesterday. Wait, holla, Put your director ears on. Uh, you should have like a you should do like Halsey. Movie. Halsey, you should do movie reviews. Okay, you and GCM movie reviews. No, I like I don't want like long ass like eight minute movie reviews, but like I need you to like do like quick. You should like, like a TikTok. Yeah, yeah. I'm Ben Doyle. Oh my god, you oh. should start a TikTok. A I don't mo- have a TikTok. A movie reviews with Ben Doyle. Did I not just say you should start a TikTok? Yes. I said you that's, should start a TikTok. Like, I don't have TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> so let's okay. Start. Yes. Start yes. Start. yes. Agree. I, I think agree. it could actually be successful. Okay. Movie reviews. We want with... a si- you want a side hustle. Let's this go. is a side hustle, movie Benny. Reviews with BBB. Okay. And they're quick. And they're quick, quick hitters, not yeah. always long. It's like Mia Goth is hot. She did this. She killed this person. Next, go. It yes. was so sick. Bennett, this is this is your this your is your foyer. calling. This is your foyer into the next, like, like yes. Can y'all help me set set up a TikTok? Yeah, yeah. you just yeah. put in your email. Okay, take a like remember. good photo of you. You know. Okay. All right. Movies All right. with BBB. I, I like, like it. Oh I like God. it. I like it. Let's go. Let's go. Jasper, you better not try to steal it. Stay in your lane. Okay. A couple more. All right. Okay. A couple more things, real quick. Um, <laughs> Jessica got astray. Okay. Oh, I, love you. I love you, Jessica. Uh, uh, Jeremy Allen White, y'all seen the Bear? Jeremy you know the bear? the bear, the Bear, that show, the Bear, the bear that's really popular yeah, on Hulu, the, bear. Yeah. Yeah. the restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna play Bruce Springsteen in the upcoming Bruce Springsteen oh, bio. I kind of like oh, him. That's so cool. Yeah. So yeah. you guys like Bruce? You guys no, like I the like, boss? I like this. 
what his name is Jeremy Allen White. Yes, I like him. He's great. He's in um that other one. He's, he's in the new wrestling movie, no, no, The no, Iron no, no, Claw. No, 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 no. Yeah. The, the one where the family's like like a dysfunctional family. The dad's like a drunk. The girl's like kind of hoary. He's one uh, of the brothers. Come on. God, why can't I? I don't know come what you're on. thinking of. Chat, come on, help him. I don't out. know what you're thinking of, KJ. Come on. He's a brother. With the family? The Iron Claw. No, someone will help me in the chat. Just continue. Someone help us later. in the chat. Um, so, okay. So, uh, it follows Bruce Springsteen. What's his name? Jeremy Allen White? Jeremy Allen White. It follows Bruce Springsteen's, Springsteen's long effort to put together his seminal Nebraska album, which is one of my favorite albums of all time. So, I'm excited yeah, about Gallagher this Gallagher is the last name. He's Lip. What's that show called? Shameless. Oh my God. Shameless was so good. Oh, okay. I thought you were just saying movie. There so I was, Oh, good. I meant TV yeah. show. Yeah. Um, Okay, first, the reason I brought this up, uh, you guys like the boss, Bruce Greenstein? Oh, and I just got a really good idea for your TikTok. Yeah, what's up? At yeah. the end of the TikTok, you like rate the movies, but you just use like little like popcorn emojis. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like How out many of five. Popcorns? How many popcorns? If you love the movie, you get five popcorn emojis at the end. Bid it. Okay. And it, like, have... go, it like goes, oh, yeah. Okay, I like we, it. We yeah. have called, we have found I like it. I like it. I yeah. like it. I like it. We're going to get on this. We're going to get on this. Okay. I brought this up. Okay. Do you guys right. like the boss? Yes. Bruce yes. Springsteen. Yes. What's uh, your favorite Bruce song? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. My dad. See, I knew it. I knew it. Casuals. <laughs> Casuals. I didn't say I liked him. Yeah, I just said yes so you can keep talking. <laughs> That's usually how like life goes. Can you name like, you just, like, Can you name a Bruce Springsteen song? Bro, no, we're not old. Okay. I'm not that old. Let me see. When can you name a Halsey you act like song? You act like I'm so much older. You, than you didn't know how to say Halsey. Can you, name a, Dua Le can you name a Dua Lipa song? Yeah. Uh, or a sexy red song? Levitating. Name a sexy red song. Uh, I don't know her exactly. song. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know her song. Bruce Springsteen ain't dropped a song since when? 1984. No, 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 no. He drops songs. He drops new music all the time. Okay, so I get, give me sexy. Keep Get it sexy. Are you looking at the get chat? Get it sexy. You looking at the chat? No. Okay. Or bow, bow, bow. I can hear them saying it to you. No, ear. you didn't. No, you didn't. You didn't hear nothing. You didn't hear nothing. You didn't hear nothing. You didn't hear nothing. This is not phone. Quiet, Quiet on the set. Kyra, this, this is, is not, not a phone. group test. Quiet yes. on the set. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'll give you. I'll give you one hint to be able to name a Bruce Born song. Born in the USA. We put. Why would you do that? I was don't, setting don't it up. Don't play with me. We play it at every game. Okay. We do. We, they're in the military Born appreciation. In the yeah. USA. When we do the when we do the military salute. That's tonight. We'll get that. That's, yeah. yeah. So you hear Bruce every Grizzlies game. Okay. All right. I want to throw and that out there. Rock. Um, <laughs> Kid Rock. Right. Okay. Uh, last two. Last two. You got two more. No. 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 Okay. No. 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 It's just a quick one. Uh, last night during the uh, last. <laughs> Last night during I thought the you just wanted to talk about Maxine. I didn't know this was like a library. <laughs> He's taking the liberties to talk about all these movies. Oh my god. GP, get back here. Like, I know he would never let me do this. That's why I'm getting it all out of my system before he gets back tomorrow. No, that's why you have the TikTok. He's you know watching that? this right now like this dude. I already know. <laughs> I already know. Okay, we're doing the TikTok. No, the last thing, uh, during the national championship game last night, we got the new trailer for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Did y'all see it when no. you were watching the game last night? Okay. Um, just tell look, me when you're done. There's the poster. Uh, yeah, we're just going to check our, we're just going to Did, did y'all like the Planet of the Apes movies? The new age ones? I like the first one. No, I didn't watch any of them. Y'all didn't watch those? Okay, well the trailer looks cool. Uh, this takes place years and years later after that original trilogy, or the new age trilogy. Um, it's, Andy Serkis isn't in it anymore, uh, but I thought. I thought you were going to shave your beard last night. I changed my mind. Yeah, well, you were supposed to shave your beard, bro. I'd, I'd change hey, my hey, mind. Hey, everybody on the, on the, in the interwebs, Bennett told me and KJ uh -huh. yesterday, I'm going to shave my beard when I get home. And look what he didn't do. He's look a liar. TikTok is planning to release a photo sharing app called TikTok Notes that will compete with Instagram. Okay. That's more that's, that's all I got. The, the only thing I wanted to add was that uh, the uh, the number one movie at the box office continues to be Godzilla vs. Kong. Continues to dominate. Brought in over $130 million domestically. Uh, these movies rock. And I'm glad that they keep making them. That's it. That's why I wore my Godzilla shirt. Number today. four. Yeah, all right. Well, moving on. Bro, he just talked about movies. Number movies. four. Bro. Moving on. This is all you. Okay, so this man. Back to sports. There we go. Back to sports. Kinda. Actually, yeah. This is sports. It's about like marathons. This man. Okay. <laughs> this redheaded chat so mean today. Named Ross yeah, Cook. Tell us to stop interrupting. Claims me. that he's become the first person ever to run across Africa. So he started in South Africa. He ended just yesterday in. Uh, 
Across from bottom to top, you mean? Yeah. Because he's starting in South Africa? I'm going to okay. tell you. Yep. So a total of 10,000 miles. He essentially ran over 385 marathons in 352 days for a total of 10,000 miles. And he claimed that he was the first person to do it. So he ended yesterday. But... But there's hey. controversy. Oh, love controversy. oh, yeah. There's always controversy oh. surrounding these so South African runners. Yep. Well, he's British. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Y'all remember the one dude? No. No. Remember that one dude that killed his wife? No. Y'all don't remember that story? No. Well, well, Were we I, well, alive when it we happened? Don't have, yeah, it was <laughs> happening like a couple of years back. Yeah. Well, what happened to the South African guy? What it, was the, it was the dude. He was uh, a fraud? Yeah, he was. This he, isn't that kind of controversy. Uh, he had the, um, uh, what was his name? Oscar Pistorius. Oh, that guy? Yeah. Yay. I think he was South African. I think he was South Who'd African. He yeah. Who'd his he wife or his girlfriend. Yeah, he yeah. Was Allegedly. I don't know if he's, if he was convicted. Yeah, I remember that I think guy. he's in prison. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I can't confirm. He's definitely dropping the soap right now. Go ahead. Continue with that story. Yeah, keep going. Okay, well, the controversy is that um, this guy. Killed someone. No, no one, no one okay. died. It's okay. not All actually right. that juicy. Now I feel bad for like hyping it up. This Danish guy said he did it in 2008. Period. Oh, so he told him, oh, you're the second guy. It's like yeah. landing on the moon. Yeah, they're like, they're like the fighting moon. with each other. Like he did this whole thing being like, I'm the first, I'm the first, I'm the first. Finished yesterday. And this guy's like, I already did that. Really? Oh, that's. Like, I already did that, bro. Okay. Can he prove it though? Yeah. That's yeah, the yeah. Actually, the World Runners Association came to his defense. Oh. The, not the World Runners Association. <laughs> The WRA. What? Yeah, you better watch yep. out for them. Yep. He said, Mr. Olsen ran from Taba, Egypt to Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. He said, it's already been done. So this guy just spent 352 days running across Africa. Thinking he's going to be number thinking one. Thinking he's going to be number one. Thinking he's going to break a world Guinness World Record. Yeah. He's really number so the two. day he finishes, they're like, no, you're not. Somebody should have told me this. No, you're like, not. They should, they should have told me this before I started running. Man, and like you should do this research. Obviously, that's an amazing accomplishment. Like anyone should be proud of that accomplishment. But if you think you're about to break a Guinness record and you put forth all that time and effort, three hundred fifty-two yeah. days, ten thousand miles you know on your you, body. That's so much time you could have done. Three hundred eighty-five marathons he ran. Yeah, and they said on the day he finishes, you're exhausted, you're excited, yeah. you're feeling accomplished. Like, no, you're not. I'm about to be stamped as number one. But no, you're, you're not. Actually number two. No, you're not. This happened in two thousand eight. Yeah, that'd be tough. To 2010. That's like that's like somebody like going and saying like I landed on like the the Mars and you're like yeah I'm the first one on Mars I'm like no nah, bro that happened like forever ago. Yeah, that would be me being like I'm the first woman to blah 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 and they're like no you're not. No you're There's not. There's literally you're, ten you're women who have done this. Actually number eleven. Yeah, congrats. Good job, buddy. Now mm -hmm. you're. <laughs> yeah, AC said it in the chat like a simple Google would have just, <laughs> <laughs> just helped he, this he dude out. Like, what was come name? on, man. Has uh, anyone ever <laughs> run across Africa? <laughs> this guy's name is Ross Cook. Ross Cook sounds like a guy who wouldn't Google something. And just so you guys are like fully getting his picture, um, his what, what does he look like? His, he's a little redheaded dude. His um, like name, like his like stage name, yeah. is the hardest geezer. The hardest that sounds like a porn geezer. Name. Yeah, that. However, he did raise close to a million dollars yeah. for oh, a bunch okay. of charities. Okay. That's cool. Okay. That's good. Okay. Yeah. So there is at least like good you did, things. At least you did like some good stuff for the yeah. community. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so it's not all his loss. 650,000 pounds. So it's close to a million dollars. Good guy. Um, but his route crossed 16 countries, deserts, rainforests, mountains. Um, he had a bunch. Oh, he got mugged a few times, sandstorms, injury, sickness, blah, blah, blah. Just to end yesterday and be told. That's brutal. That's not it, babe. That's yeah, brutal. brutal. Max says he got kidnapped at one point. <laughs> yeah, like it, like it. I went through bad. all this shit, and y'all telling me I'm number two. <laughs> at least I raised a lot of money, though. That's a good tough for scene. him. He did. That's a good tough scene, yeah, like right good there. Things happen, yeah, but imagine, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an ending. amazing accomplishment. Imagine ending, yeah. and then the WRA is like, okay. So my, why did the WRA call me before I did all this? Mm -hmm. Like, why did they see me like going through this? Like, no one. Or once through. the story starts getting out there, yeah. like you know, like, they make a run, phone call. Like, hey, yo, <laughs> like he's done yo. like one country in Africa. Like somebody could have hopped on and been like, hey, yeah, hey, yo. we see what you're doing down there. Like, <laughs> just a heads up. Somebody's done this before, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Like, <laughs> someone in the chat makes a good point. That yeah. the one time doing your own research would actually be beneficial. You know, when like you have like a like oh my chest hurts. Like don't go on yes. WebMD. Yes. Like don't do that to yourself. But like you, this time might have been like a good. He should have did that. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. Last one. Yeah. Number let's rush through five. Mine, it took so much time. We're not rushing. We're, we're good. I feel rushed. I, I liked that one. I thought we gave it its proper due. Okay. Mike Tyson. Don't you think we covered it? It was, uh, by the way, Oscar Pistorius did get convicted of and killing his wife. And they told me that wife. he didn't have yeah. legs. So I feel he didn't bad have about legs? <laughs> I think he didn't have a leg. My he, he lost a leg. Oh, that's That's like why his story Terry got Knox so big. Oh, this is yeah. what Cat Williams called him. Poor little Ting Ting. <clears throat> that's, yeah. that, that's poor little Ting Ting? 
Oh, that's Kurt. You know poor little Ting Ting? No. You don't know the story? No. You're going to watch the video after the show. Okay. Yeah. Shout out poor little Ting Ting. All right, number five. Mike Tyson is selling edibles shaped like a chewed ear, and you can get them in New York. Oh, yeah. Mike Tyson's a big weed guy. Big yeah. Weed guy. Big weed guy. But his edibles it's... are in the shape of a chewed ear. That's disgusting. It's not funny. It's pretty cool. That's so funny. No, he's going to, I mean, he's going to sell a Bro, ton of can those. Can y'all get a photo of this? He's yeah, going to sell a ton online. I don't know if we can put that on the screen. Um, but no. They're he, called Mike Tyson Bites. The bee has like a bite out of the top oh, of it. Ha, 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 ha. And so like you get good. like an yeah. ear. I saw like last year, like there was like the video of him and Ric Flair just standing on the sidewalk and smoking a blunt, like just chilling. Um, so yeah. Let me see a photo of it. Oh, look, okay. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, is this it actually it's like marketing? beef jerky. Yeah, it's it's great marketing. Great marketing. Is it is good marketing. marketing. I feel like it's about ever? like ten years like behind, but I feel like it's still his though. But I think the thing is because like obviously this whole thing happened before with Mike Tyson like years and years ago. Yes. Like the people who are of age to legally do this because it's in New York. Yes, are like of the age. That they would have watched and know the story. So, like, I don't want Mike Tyson bites. How many uh, milligrams is it? That's my next question. Like, can I just yeah. like can look I just the, pop look them? at the packaging? Yeah, can I just pop them? Like, am I just popping Mike Tyson bites? Or I'm gonna be like high as a kite. Mike, Mike, Mike likes to. Oh, his Mike likes to indulge. Dude. His his uh, <laughs> cigarettes. Right, calm down over there. Crazy. Um, no, I'm trying to read. I'm trying to like see the packaging. We talked a lot about uh, Logan Paul yesterday uh, because of WrestleMania. Whose ear did he bite off? Well, no, his. You know, his <laughs> brother's fighting Tyson on Netflix coming up in a couple months, July 20th at AT&T Stadium. Yeah, I went on Vernon and was all excited about that, and they all everybody shot it down. They all shit on me. Yeah, they were like, "Oh, he's gonna get destroyed." I'm no, like, no, no. No, no, no. I'm excited. And here's why I'm excited. Because I just like shit like this. Like these bit. I never cared about Jake Paul fighting like ex UFC stars or anything like that. Nobody gives a crap about that. No, nobody no remembers those guys, right? Mike Tyson is, it doesn't matter how old he is. It's freaking Mike Tyson. It's Mike Tyson, bro. So, like, you're going to watch just out of curiosity. Milligrams. Okay. That's not bad. Okay. So let's, go, Mike. Um, <laughs> let's go, Mike. Let's go, Mike. A couple, oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, we'll be all right. No, uh, <laughs> I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna do massive. No, I think it's gonna be one of the most viewed things of all time on Netflix, if not the most watched thing Netflix has ever had. I agree. Yeah, I agree. It's Mike Tyson, bro. Yeah, and and just the curiosity yeah. aspect. Like, and yeah, I, I think, think people J want to see the Paul Bros get beat up too. Like I think That's the it. world wants to see the Paul, like a Paul brother get his face. I don't think anyone in. wants to see Mike Tyson lose. No, no, right. But we want to see like Kenny like punch the Paul brother in the face. Yeah, yeah, like we love to see them get punched. I think I think it's not fixed. Like but, I don't boxing. I don't think it's fixed. But it's not the way wrestling is. No. Like what's gonna happen in my opinion? Because I heard y'all talking about it, and I agree. Like what's Jake Paul's gonna tire him out? Like Jake Paul's a young guy. Like he's gonna run around the ring a bunch, and Mike Tyson's old. He, I mean, going you know a ton of rounds with that guy he's gonna get tired but like you said what do you want to see you want to see if mike can land the punch yeah. and if he can who knows you yeah, know I'm, I'm i'm tapped in i love mike tyson man shout out mike tyson legendary legendary, legendary. what's legendary. the game mike tyson's knockout punch out punch out Come yeah on, i used to play it at uh putt putt they used to have the, the big arcade game up there yeah shout out mike tyson he also picked up uh that hula, hula bula what's his name Hasbulla. Hasbulla. <laughs> He thought he that, was a baby. I think <laughs> a baby. is the funniest video of all time. <laughs> that might be like one of the greatest clips ever, bro. <laughs> he starts like by, he starts like kissing on his ear. He's like, mum, mum, mum. <laughs> he thinks he's a child. <laughs> like that's what Mike is great, bro. He is so like out there. I'm so bro. happy you reminded me of that because I, uh, if, I clip. if you have to choose it's one so video good. to just watch over and over, I think I might choose that one. Yes. I it, think I really might. In five. fairness, when Hasbulla came on the scene, like when those videos first started going viral, you thought it was two little kids, like <laughs> because yeah, but, the other guy. But he did, he did that kid thing with the little smooches. Like it was already known. He wasn't new on this yeah. scene. I don't like, think Mike, Mike, Mike didn't know. This man's like 19 Mike, years old. Mike, Mike did not know. <laughs> he said, "Come here, little baby." <laughs> Mike did not know. Shut oh my Mike, god, man. he did the smooches. He was like. Bah, 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 bah. That <laughs> Oh, that, that kills me. That is great. Shout out Mike Tyson, man. Shout out Mike. Shout out Mike. I hope you I hope you get your knockout, Mike. 
Yeah. Shit, and man. send us some of the uh, ear things. No. No, I'm just kidding. It's not just legal kidding. here. No. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Don't do that. That's right. That's right. If you happen to be in New York, yes. And you would like check it out. Do it legally. You can check it out in New York on the show. That's right. Sorry, my bad. I've I've totally forgot. Black market over here. I forgot. I forgot where we were. BBB Black Market. Oh, that's what BBB is. Yeah, that's right. The real BBB. That's right. Multiple aliases. Um. Okay, let's take a break. I have to pee so bad. Yeah, let's take a break. We'll come back and do uh, KJ's carry out. All right, we'll see you on a second. Life Care Ambulance is proud to be an official partner of the Memphis Grizzlies and FedEx Forum. At Life Care, they wear their hearts with pride. Their passion is their people. They want you to love what you do and where you do it. Their employee-driven culture encourages a healthy work-life balance and supportive work environment. They invest in your success and well-being so that you can provide the best care for the patients that they serve. Join the incredible team of EMTs and paramedics in Memphis, Nashville, and across the nation today. Learn more at lifecareamb.com. Let's face it, there's a lot of trash talk in basketball, but the great teams let their performance do the talking. Like Ford F-150 with Pro Power On Board, a class-exclusive industry-first feature that turns your truck into a mobile generator and leaves the competition speechless. Ford F-150, official truck of the Grizzlies. Greatness starts here at your Mid-South Ford dealer. Classes full-size pickups under 8,500 pounds, GBWR. Now for a limited time, the new $1.99 Crispy Tender Wraps are here at Sonic. Who could deny a crispy chicken tender with bold flavors like hickory barbecue and cheesy Baja? And we can't forget the crisp lettuce and melty cheese to make the perfect bite. Wrap yourself up with some TLC, tender, love, and chicken for only $1.99. Sonic $1.99 Crispy Tender Wraps. Tax not included, limited time only at participating Sonic drive-ins. Hey Grizzlies fans, after exciting hoops and a lucky night of gaming, where do you rest your head? Look no further than Southland Casino Hotel, proud sponsor of the Memphis Grizzlies. Our high-rise hotel is the epitome of luxury and comfort. Picture this, you've just finished an evening of gaming and dining, so you head on over to one of our 300 rooms to end the night. Choose from standard suite and presidential suite, plus we're pet friendly and offer mobility scooters for rent. It's a seamless experience for everyone. And don't miss the Main Street Exchange, right in the heart of our casino lobby. Whether you're craving a snack or need a souvenir of your stay, we've got you covered. From polo shirts to shot glasses, take a piece of the Southland excitement home with you. So come stay and play at Southland Casino Hotel, where every moment is designed for your enjoyment. Book your hotel stay by calling 833-703-3350 or visit online at southlandcasinohotel.com slash hotel. Guests must be 21 years of age or older to check in at hotel. Must be 21 plus, play responsibly. For help quitting, call 800-522-4700. Life Care Ambulance is proud to be an official partner of the Memphis Grizzlies and FedEx Forum. At Life Care, they wear their hearts with pride. Their passion is their people. They want you to love what you do and where you do it. Their employee-driven culture encourages a healthy work-life balance and supportive work environment. They invest in your success and well-being so that you can provide the best care for the patients that they serve. Join the incredible team of EMTs and paramedics in Memphis, Nashville, and across the nation today. Learn more at lifecareamb.com. Your mic was on the whole time. <laughs> I was choking on my juice. We're not even going to go there right now. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Let's do GP's carryout because I have to do a game day update and then I have to rush home to my sick son and then come we back do sneak fest. for Sneak Fest. Yeah, I'm still going home to see him. You got a day. Yeah. You got a day. Full Shout line. out to you. Put it in. GCM superstar GCM over here. GCM all star. Yeah. 
Just Put let it. our bosses know. Crowner. Thanks. Do it Crowner. GCM All Star. You and CJ her business. All right, let's do, do it. let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's time it. for GP's carryout. One yeah. final segment filled with stuff to take with you. It's not everything let's you hop. need to know, but you? it's That's most of it. Yeah, sorry. What? What? Oh, hang on. Hang on. What, what did we, we learn today? today? That's what. Yeah, what do we learn today? That's what I want Dev to do, number one. Uh, what do we learn today? Yeah, what do we learn? Uh, Dev, what do we learn today? College Football 25, the game that we're all looking forward to, is coming out on July 19th. The date is set. The best date ever. I cannot wait. That's what we learned today. We literally didn't talk about that once. Oh, you want to learn about that? No. Oh, okay. It's more of like, what do we learn? Uh, what yeah, we but you just taught us today. something. So. I, yeah, 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 that's right. That's I'm a, a, why can't we can do. change okay. how... Fair enough. Gary's not here. When dad's away, the kids will play. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's what we learned today. That's right. We're what switching we it up. Uh, I learned that you need to check. I, I learned that you need to do a quick Google search before trying to accomplish any amazing feat. Yeah. Because somebody else might have already done it. Just yeah. like this dude that tried to run all the way across the African he continent. He ran. He did. He, he got freaking kidnapped on the way. He got mugged. Mugged. Yeah. And, and he did it all for, I mean, amazing accomplishment. But he like, raised a million dollars for a bunch of okay, charities. That's, that's amazing. But like, is your name going in the record books? No, no it's no. not. Because somebody already did it. Been there, done that, babe. A quick Google search would have helped you tremendously, man. Yeah. yeah. So well, that's what I learned. If today. a girl calls you babe, are you guys okay with it? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of okay. turns me off. No. <laughs> In a casual kind In of way. In a casual kind of way. Yeah. I, I, I will say like that's like the that's like the uh that's what like the, the not the strippers, but like the bottle girls do. They'll be like, You need anything else, babe? Uh-huh. To get you like to buy more bottles. Uh-huh. Like, get you to buy sometimes more. I'll say baby. Yeah, baby. Uh -huh. Well uh -huh. that's why I ask because sometimes baby, I get real baby aggressive. Is obviously. Cool. Baby. Yeah. Hey, bottle baby. Girl, bottle girls are the new stripper. Sure okay. thing, baby. Okay, baby, go to the next one. <laughs> All right. Oh, What's today's biggest game? It's crazy. What's today's biggest game? Grizzlies are taking on the Spurs yes. tonight. 7 o'clock FedEx Forum right here in this building. Uh, it's one of the three final home games left this season. Yeah, we got Spurs, and then we have the Lakers on Friday. Yep. Right, and then on. we have our final game is an afternoon game. Against Denver on Sunday. That's right. Tonight we got Jack White. Tonight. Grizzlies debut yeah, we have yeah. our third. Jack White. We have our third. Fill us second. in. So uh, we've already broken the record for the NBA's most players to right. be on an active roster for the season. Now we're just adding to it. Jack White, uh, I think it said that he played for the South Bay Lakers. South Bay Lakers this mm -hmm. season. He did. So he will okay. be making. He's, he signed a 10 day. Mm -hmm. So if he plays. Probably Even for one minute. There's 37 people well, in injury report, so he has to play. We already yeah. got someone from them and Scotty Pippen Jr. this year, which worked out great. Oh. So yeah, but he was he was playing behind Scotty Pippen Jr. That I'm I'm just saying so, maybe this is another diamond in the rough like yep. Scotty was. Yep. So we're like the Mississippi like South Bay Lakers now. Scotty will play tonight, by the way. Yeah, he so is our, one of the Grizzlies that will be playing this evening. Do you, so want the, do you oh you have the injury? Yeah, report? Had to report, okay. report right now. We have Jake Laravia is doubtful with left ankle soreness. No, Lamar don't do Steve what. Is, is, which one do you want to do? No, like just don't say what they're injured. Oh, just look Jake and Lamar out. Tonight. No, they're doubtful. doubtful. They're doubtful. They're doubtful. Read the out though. Oh, you're the out's out? crazy. The out? the out is crazy. Sons okay, we're at two. Desmond Bain, Jaron Jackson Jr., Luke Kennard, Sean Conchar, Ja Morant, Dirt Rose, Marcus Smart, Yuta Watanabe on my wrist, Vince Williams Jr., and Zaire Williams. That is 12 people on the injury list. That is a complete team. Could be 14 if those other two guys don't play. And it's why the San Antonio Spurs are four and a half point favorites tonight on the road mm -hmm. here inside FedEx Forum. Um, but I, a reason to come. Wemby will be here. Obviously, he is super fun to watch. Um, I think he's playing. I haven't checked the Spurs injury report, but I would assume he'd be playing. So head yeah. over. I don't know, man. The Grizzlies have been competitive when you like with when the roster's been like this. They've been competitive in these games a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Also, the Spurs yeah, are not good this yeah, year, so compete, bro, I think but it's, it's not gonna be fun to watch. I'm saying, like, I I, I think they can cover that four and a half. I think the Grizzlies yeah, can Wimby's, cover that four Wimby's and a half. Wimby's in. I'm, hey, and Wimby, like they dropped Wimby's new logo yesterday. Which is, shout out to Nike, bro, picking the solo clip day to drop a, a logo drop for bro, Wimby. So shout out, shout out to Trey Jemison, the assignments he's getting, like Joel Embiid, Wimby. 
<laughs> there, there, Anthony Davis on Friday. Oh, yeah. Shout out Trey. I, I have a prediction for tonight. I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it though. You think it's gonna be? Well, not what's gonna happen in the game necessarily, or not? I can see it right now. I'm like Raven looking into the future. What? Let's I'm, hear it. I'm having a vision. Oh, Trey's gonna get the jersey. No, no, he he's may. not gonna ask for Wimby's jersey, bro. If he asked for Wimby's jersey today, I'm, I'm might like. Get now it. the Embiid thing, you get it. Embiid's a yeah, freaking Embiid's a MVP. 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 Yeah. MVP. If he yeah. asked for Wimby's jersey, we might have to. I don't know, man. Wimby could go massive tonight. I mean, the dude's putting up huge numbers for that team. I'll yeah. say the Grizz cover. I want to. I want to have fun tonight. I say the Grizz win. I say Trey is the leading scorer. Let's yes. go. Okay. And, go. And, like and, and, and I say that Mao dunks on Trey or on uh, Wemby. Let's go, Kelsey. Mao dunk on Wemby prediction. Let's go. Period. And and Xavier Simpson hits his first. Captain Hook hook shot tonight. Period. Slay King. We, we talked way too Let's much. Let's go, babe. He's two for 15 shooting from the field with the Grizzly. Shout out Grizzly. They gave me that stat. But he has not hit a hook shot. He's the hook god. He's going to hit a hook shot tonight. Let's go, Grizz. We talked way too much movies today because y'all are like narrating like this Cinderella Grizzly go, story Grizz. for Grizz. Go, Grizz. Tonight. Go, Grizz. Go, Grizz. Go, Grizz. Go, Grizz. Go, Grizz. Go, Grizz. All right, we're, cover. we're covering the four and a half. What are we okay. watching on TV? Okay, I don't. I don't. Oh, I have something. What Remember, are we watching? I told you that the documentary that I've been dying to watch it comes out today. Okay, it's on Max. It's called Brandy Hellville, and I think you should go watch it. I will be watching it maybe after the game. What's even. it about? I told you yesterday. I I forgot. The brand Brandy Melville terrorized teenage girls. They were like the cool brand that everyone wanted to wear, but they were one size fit all. And very like Hollister-y, like they only had like skinny little white girls in their stores. Yeah. They put all like everyone else in the back and the, like the the truth about it is coming out now. Plus because they were one size fit all, like it was very exclusive. Like I, I could wear rare things there and I always like was so upset about it. Um, and so there's a whole documentary about it today on Max that came out. So Brandy Hellville. Okay. Oh, we staying with Max. I like yeah, it. I'll, I'll check it out too. All right. All right. Yeah. Also, we yeah. talked about like a ton of movies today and we were talking about Maxine that I'm really excited about. If you want to watch the two movies that came before Maxine in that trilogy, uh, X is on Hulu and Pearl, it says it's on Tubi. So you can watch that for free. Um, it's on something else too, because when you told me to go watch it, I watched both of them and I wouldn't Yeah, it says have, it's on Tubi paid. and Fubo. Those are both free, right? I That's free that. streaming. Fubo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, they're free. Yeah. And I don't often give Bennett like the um, stamp, approval. stamp of approval yeah. for the movies. But these two, yeah. like he gave me a lot of movies to watch when it was like around Halloween time. And I watched a lot of them and I didn't like a lot of them. But these two, I actually really liked. They're like super creepy. My skin wanted to fall off of its bones in that one of the one, scenes. Uh -huh. I think you know which scene. Yeah, Ooh, like yeah, it still makes yeah. me want to vomit. But like I loved it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, All right, good. so check those out. Check out the X trilogy. What's the best thing we've read? Um, go read uh, GP story. He wrote about uh, John Calipari leaving Kentucky for Arkansas. It's over at CBSSports.com. GP obviously more familiar with Coach Cal than anybody. He covered him all the way back when he first got to Memphis. So uh, it's it's a good piece on this ongoing story. He st he still hasn't signed. Like he's not officially the coach of Arkansas. I don't know if y'all saw yesterday the video that went viral of him walking no his dog, and he was just like, "No comment." Does that not look familiar to you? <laughs> I was gonna say we've seen the, that before. Memphis fans, y'all have seen that before. We've seen that before. So, uh, so yeah, GP wrote about it. Um, that's over at CBSSports.com. What's on tap for tomorrow? What's on tap tomorrow, G uh, KJ? GP's back. GP's back. Hey, and to echo what he said in the beginning. Oh, blah blah, blah blah blah. No, blah, thank blah. you for filling in uh, these it's past my job. couple of days. I know it's your job, but. Uh, we appreciate you doing it as always. Yeah, uh, yeah. especially leaving so, my sick son at home by himself. Exactly. We I hope your dog feels oh, better hope too. Hope he gets well soon. He's yeah, we dog. hope your dog. He's my literal child. We hope your well son soon, feels better. Hope he gets well. He's gonna be all right. Devin's not allowed to come near him. He's yeah, gonna be he all right. Throws up when I'm around him. <laughs> Does he? Yeah, he he throws so, up like so the side really, of you makes him throw up. He gets really excited. He oh, he gets up. excited. Yeah. He likes you. Yeah, but I don't want to throw up though. No, he's too sick for that right now. Yeah, you don't want to throw. Keep all that food in his belly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. You're well soon, boo. Appreciate See you, KJ. You um, you do it out. Do you want me to say bye to everybody? Yeah. Hey, we appreciate you guys watching, listening today. Uh, go Grizz tonight. Wait, on the count of three, everyone say one word, and we'll see if we all have the same word. Okay. okay. Ready? All right. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Let me think of my word. No, don't think of it too much. Okay. First right. thing. Ready? Right. One, two, three. Maxine. Grizz. Yeah.
What'd you say? Uh, you just said go. <laughs> you didn't even say a word. <laughs> okay, let's try one more time. One. One, two, three. Maxine. Nine. Oh, you didn't even change your word. I uh, know. I didn't want to <laughs> change it. I like. I, I got Maxine on the brain. Okay, let's just all say That's Maxine all on three. Ready? One, one two, two, three. three. Maxine. Maxine. Bye. All right, we'll see y'all tomorrow.